What's up, everybody? Just finished the Tyron versus Jake Paul fight. We're going to be talking to you guys a little bit about our thoughts on the fight, what happened, what went on, Sweet T. Glad to have you here, man. Absolutely, man. Just finished it up. A lot to take away. Some things we kind of expected a little bit. We were hoping for some, some different things to happen. But, uh, yeah, fight just ended up. And these are our thoughts. Let's get into it. What up, everybody? Everybody. What's up, everybody? <laughs> All right, WB, so fight's over. This is fresh, still fresh on the brain. You know, we're not watching any playback, nothing. What were your thoughts on T. Wood? I know you were picking him to win the fight. Yes. I know you were you were pulling for him to win, but what were your thoughts as a whole on his first professional boxing bout? He's he's got this chance to make a lot of money to get a lot of hype. Do you think he he showed up and took advantage of it or what's up? No, I mean I think out there we saw kind of typical Tyron Woodley. Um, very frustrating to watch the fight. You know, seeing you know he had Jake Paul up against the ropes the majority of the fight, but didn't take advantage of it. You know, he was picking his shots, looking for that one hitter quitter shot, and he got outboxed. I mean, Jake Paul was throwing uh, more jabs, more more punches, more combinations, landing more. Yeah, I believe that uh, Tyron Woodley had some big shots, one or two few big shots, but that was it. You know, I think he just let him off too much, and uh, it was very frustrating to watch for sure. But, you know, it is, it is new for Tyron Woodley. I mean, hats off for going out there and putting, his, putting everything on the line against somebody like Jake Paul. But, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was very frustrating. I agree, man. You know, you've, you've been out there and fought. I haven't competed in a while, so I can only imagine what's going on in his brain. I mean, yeah, it kind of seemed like he was in a win-win situation, Woodley. But if you think about it, he's got the whole MMA community on his back. He has had a rough last few years in terms of just competing at all. Hasn't won many fights, been submitted, been KO'd, been TKO'd. Yeah. So you, that's in the back of his mind as well. But you kind of hope for like a resurgence yeah. in T. Wood. That's like, what I was hoping for, for sure. Yeah. You know, seeing a, a new Tyron Woodley, you know, kind of find himself doing something new. But he competed the same way he did in his last few MMA fights. Just was too hesitant, letting his opponent get off first. There was a few times there where I thought he could have countered him. But, you know, I'm not out there. So. Yep. He allowed Jake Paul to keep the range. He allowed Jake to to just, like you said, circle against the ropes and, and didn't really take advantage of it. But I'm not a boxer, so who knows? It is what it is. Now, moving over to Jake Paul, what were some highlights? What were some things you saw about his boxing game? Has he been? Has he improved in his boxing career, even though it's short-lived? Or what, what's your take? I agree. I think he has improved a lot since his last fight. Of course, you didn't see a whole lot of his last fight, but – just his experience, you know, just watching him. You know, he's been training with some good guys. I mean, he was on his toes. He was moving. He was dodging. He was slipping. He was moving. He was, he was actually countering Tyron Woodley shots uh, closer to the end. You started to see him fatigue a little bit in the middle, but almost kind of like he found his second win and started coming back. Um, you know, my whole ordeal going into this fight was I didn't think that Jake Paul could take a hit, you know, and stay – focus on what he needed to do out there never seen that with him yeah but he did he took some big shots from tyron and he kept his his composure and uh stuck with his game plan that that's that's a good point like that would be hard to do yeah. especially somebody who's literally never experienced that in a fight before he's three and oh three knockouts all fast all vicious all yeah. you know super early in the fights yet he gets rocked by t wood you've experienced that yep and he was able to keep his composure and still try to stick to the basics, stick to the jab, work in the jab, work in the combos. I like the fact he was using that jab. He was coming down low with the right hand, coming back up high with the left. He was mixing it up, body and head. Lots of feints. A lot of feints. He had Tyron yeah. Woodley faint. He was fainting him up. He mm -hmm. was, and Tyron was reacting to a lot of his feints. Yep. So that plays a lot on, number one, fatigue for somebody that, you know, to be constantly reacting to somebody's feints. That, that tires you out. Yeah. Um. But him taking advantage, and that shows a lot of experience, I guess, in yeah. such a short amount of time for Jake Paul. So I know after the interview, he said that he's kind of going to take a break a little bit, enjoy. He fought in April. It's 
August. He fought T. Wood. Toughest fight of his career by far. But who do you think could be potentially next for him? I don't know, man. He's got his own hit list right now. Most of them are MMA fighters. In so, the UFC, in the which UFC. we know how that's going to go. I know he talked about to wanting to fight Canelo. I think I think Canelo is just. I don't think he would make that. Let that happen. No, uh, he zero. Would not, take that. Un, un, not until Canelo Alvarez is at least fifty three years of age. <laughs> like, for but real. we'll see. We'll see what he wants. I know, like he said, he wants to take a break. We'll see what he comes up with once he's a week back home, two weeks back home, and he's healed up and he's kind of feeling good. I don't think it would take long for him to want to schedule another fight because mm -hmm. there, there's not a rush quite like it nothing that you can do in youtube nothing that you can do acting or ever acting that will give you that that drilling rush that drilling. fighting oh another human God. yeah there's nothing like it there's nothing like it and it's addicting yeah it is addicting it's it's as equally addicting as it is terrifying it is, and yeah. exciting and just everything in between and then finally we'll end on this do you think this makes mma fighters look bad Yeah, I kind of. I think it does. I mean, the you know, you got two top tier champions, you know, Ben Askren in a multiple world champion in different organizations, Tyron Woodley champion in different organizations, getting beat by a guy who's three and oh. So it it kinda I it kinda does. But that said, these guys don't come to him in our world. You will yeah. never see one of these guys come to our world. Well, and, you did and, uh, when James Tony fought Randy Couture. We know how that happened. And got crushed. We know how that went down. Exactly. I don't think you'll ever see that. So, and, and maybe in just in boxing, yeah. But as MMA fighters, you know, there's as nobody. There's athletes. athletes. There's nobody willing to step in our arena. Mm -hmm. I won't see it happen. I don't, I don't, I don't think you'll ever you see it. You don't think you'll see Tyson Fury fight Francis Ngannou? Head or Cyril Ngannou? In boxing, not an MMA. Well, he's talking about coming over to the UFC. We'd love to see that. He, he's, he's, you know. Just Would love chill. to see that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I seen Nagano, I mean, just playing with him. Playing with him. With Oh, you see it happen. You, yeah. You, you see yeah. it going that way. You know. Even, you know, I th Stipe would crush him. So sure. none of these guys will step in our world. So you got to look at it like that, too. You, you, won't, you, won't, you won't see it. It's it's such a different different thing. There's so many things you got to look for, you know. Yeah. It's scary out there in the cage, bro. Yeah. It's 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 I, I when I look at boxing it's like yeah you get knocked out but you just gotta look at the hands you mm -hmm. know you got you gotta prepare for the hands right but you're not looking for knees elbows you know getting your arm broken getting mm -hmm. heel hooked what mm -hmm. that's scary yeah getting taken down and just just, just getting wrapped up and oh my gosh it's crazy yeah different and there's different nothing sure. you can just getting kabibed yep just getting. There's nothing you can do about it. You're in, you're out in the middle of the ocean with a great white freaking shark, mm -hmm. and there's nothing you can do about it. Yep. You're like you're out there swimming with your hands tied behind your back, getting punched in the face. Hey, bro, my hands are tied behind my back. I ain't swimming, bro. I'm sinking. <laughs> exactly. I'm, you're I'm getting sunk sinking, and bro. getting getting punched. Huh? <laughs> so, anyways, last final thoughts on this whole ordeal. Ah, <sighs> man. Hoping more for T Wood. Ah, huh? uh, yeah, man. I, yeah, you know, I, I want to see, you know. You want to see him do good, too. I you want to see him. I want to see Tyron do good, man. But, dang. Well, there you have it, guys. Immediate reaction. We <laughs> just went live on this literally a few minutes ago. Um, so, if you want to catch some of the live stream, check it out Go there. Go check it out, bro. We had record. We had over 35,000 people watching that live stream. So, so that's just kudos to you guys and your love you. for WB and this channel. And, and Sweet Tea. Come on now. Y'all get to show Sweet We tea appreciate tea. you. So if you would, like always, hit that Woo! subscribe button. Like this video. And it's almost 1 a.m. here. Yeah. Sweet tea. You we got to go to bed. Yeah, we got to go to bed. We'll catch y'all later. We'll catch y'all later. Sweet Tea. Love you, buddy. Peace. Peace.